Hello everybody, this is Fun Police, and for today I'm going to be experimenting and making a video over my tests with the Confederate States of America in Age of Glory, or the early period. For those that don't know, Patch 1.2 just came out, and if you haven't seen it, I made a video talking about most of the changes that you can find in the description below. But otherwise, for today, we're going to be experimenting because the Confederates received a variety of changes. Most notably for them, cavalry was nerfed, going significantly up in price, which changes quite a bit, making it very expensive. C artillery got buffed, yet their artillery is not too good. And then probably the biggest thing, the Whitworth sharpshooters have lost their superior breech loaders. Uh, which are the ones that have not only breech loading, but also plus one range. Now they can only bring in uh, the extended range rifles. And this has significantly altered the power level of the Confederates. And you have some people saying that the faction is unplayable now. You have some people that are more optimistic. And I essentially just wanted to record some games and show off, you know, maybe a build, a build that I've come up with that might end up working. For this build, we're going to be taking double Stonewall Brigade, armed with rifles each to maximize their range drill firepower. We're going to take two Louisiana Tigers, which are going to provide us with close range firepower, notably by allowing us to charge in, uh, thanks to efficiency. We're going to take a single sharpshooter in order to have additional units that can have range drill. We're going to take a Texas Brigade, which has Efficiency and Rugged. They're only a little bit more expensive than the regular line infantry, but that Rugged trait allows them to do some fancy flanks and be very annoying if there's a key, like, forest or something that's blocking the road. And then we're going to finish it off with a single unit of Bushwhackers, giving us a bit of highly mobile cavalry in order to allow us to harass. The build is, I think looking pretty good we have a decent number of units a uh, fair amount of ranged firepower alongside some units that can get in close and deal some good damage but let's just go ahead and hop into some games and see how it does alrighty so we're in our first match in a confederate mirror match uh, we're both going to be trying out some different builds for the confederates we're on Twin Creeks right now, which I think is honestly a pretty good map. But we're going to kick it off with trying to mostly focus on controlling the center and fighting for this main hill. And then we're also going to have our rugged guys uh, kind of kicking around over here. I could put a rugged person over here, but I don't think I'm going to be fighting near these rivers that much. Instead, I want to be fighting for those hills. Louisiana Tigers. Whitworth Sharpshooters. Texas Brigade. Riding out. Stonewall Brigade. Louisiana Tigers. Whitworth Sharpshooters. Bushwhackers. Texas Brigade. He's done something similar, but he's opted for only one Stonewall Brigade, so we'll see how that goes for him. Yes, sir. But we'll get fired will on some of these units, uh, since we're not spending all our orders otherwise. Always a good thing to set up fire at will uh, if you have extra orders right now. But we're going to try to make a hard dash for the hill. Because if we're able to win the hill, that should put us in a strong position. Louisiana Stonewall Brigade. Louisiana Tigers. Stonewall Brigade. Bushwhackers. Whitworth Sharpshooters. Shooters. 
I'm gonna set it up so in case I lose the hill race to him, then I'm able to at least like pelt them down with my sharpshooters and that can potentially set me up for some better damage later. Texas Brigade. Stonewall Brigade. Louisiana Tigers. I'm actually gonna get pretty aggressive here and even if he ends up uh, taking the hill, I'm going to put a flank on him and force him to respond. So, bit of a risk, but I guess we'll see how it goes. Yes, sir. He's got a Hamptons Brigade, so his cavalry is quite powerful compared to mine. He's taken a bunch of damage on some... Which is... Although he is being very aggressive, just going down hard on that side. Bushwhackers. I think first things first, I want to just blast this unit Stonewall Brigade. into oblivion. If I can kill off one of his units, that's going to weaken his firepower. Stonewall Brigade. Louisiana Tigers. And I think we'll just charge in there, actually, after shooting it twice. That should deal a ton of damage to his units and really throw him off. Stonewall Brigade, Louisiana Tigers. I think Stonewall I also Brigade. want to probably Louisiana pull Tigers. these guys back. And then change to open Stonewall order. Stonewall Brigade. Then we're going to try to position our guys in a way that we can respond to his Hamptons charges. Uh, he side charged. So the Texan Brigade is not doing as well, but... Tigers, Louisiana, T Stonewall Brigade, Bushwhackers. Well, I'm de I definitely think I should just get into this melee myself. Try to pin down his cavalry. I'm winning the hill right now, which is a good thing. Stonewall Brigade, Whitworth Sharpshooters. Stonewall Brigade, Whitworth Sharpshooters, Louisiana Tigers. I think we're just going to try to lay down a ton Stonewall of fire. Stonewall Brigade, Louisiana Tigers. Louisiana hmm. Tigers. Stonewall Brigade. I think it might just be best to leave the units there. And probably just try to let them kind of do their thing. So hopefully we can kill off his brigade, his Hamptons brigade, because he spent a lot on that. So if we can pin that down and kill that, that's good. And then I'm going to try to soften up these volunteers. Uh, he can get into a melee over here with multiple Louisiana Tigers. So he's moving, so we're not going to be able to shoot, which is a bit sad, but apparently that was a front charge, but he's stuck in a melee now and he's going to start bleeding, so he's going to have to pull away at least. He side charges. I think it's a good time to probably pull out the Stonewall Brigade. Louisiana Tigers. Whitworth Sharpshooters. Whitworth Sharpshooters. Stonewall Brigade. Whitworth Sharpshooters. Stonewall Brigade. 
Stonewall Brigade. Whitworth Sharpshooters. Stonewall Brigade. I want to try to lay down as much fire as I can and then keep it pressure on. Stonewall Brigade. And I think we're going to pull this Stonewall out. Uh, we'll let the Tigers keep fighting in there, but we'll try to get the uh, our stone walls out of there to try to conserve their power. Because even if they just sit on one or two health, I could hopefully maybe drag them over to the hill, and then they can regain their cohesion, and then they can he keep helping to lay down fire. He's probably going to pull out his uh, Hampton's Brigade soon. But if he doesn't... Hmm. We'll leave our stuff there, but if he doesn't pull out, then he will uh, probably lose Hamptons in a turn or two. And hopefully we can chase him down. He's also pulling out of this melee, so he's trying to shoot. But the Tigers are in open formation, so at least for the moment, they're not going to take much. And that actually means my Stonewall is going to recover their strength. I think we're in a pretty good position. Texas Brigade. Bushwhackers. So he's probably going to try to charge my Sharpshooters. So how would I like to do this is a good question. I think the way I want to do it, I'm going to put my cavalry there so he can charge my cavalry head on. And then I'm going to... He can also just try to kill, I guess, these tigers. But I'm not too, like, torn up about potentially losing those. I think I'm actually going to have the tigers just go in for the kill here. Kill that off. Soften them up. I'll have fire at will. I'm going to give up this hill a little bit because I'm going to try to pin him against the river. Louisiana Tigers. But if we can do that, then I think we'll be in a pretty good position. I'm still going to have the sharpshooters try to stick it out on the hill. The Texas, I guess, are just going to kind of sit in that forest, not doing a whole lot. But them sitting in the forest is hard to attack into, so... Oh, he charges into me. That does a lot of damage. Alright, so he's trying to wheel the Hamptons around. Alright, so... I think we're in a good position here still. So I'm, I'm thinking that the stone wall's probably not going to make it out of there very quickly. So I'm going to try to set it up to where... So I'm assuming he's probably going to try to go in with Hampton, because he needs to try to like get a devastating charge on my units. So actually, I'm going to try to save or keep this stone wall in a good position. But I'll just try to position it in a way where I can sort of pin him and keep him from doing anything to me. Louisiana Tigers. Stonewall Brigade. And then we will bring the Texas over here. So he's got a lot of fire at will going on. Yeah, he absolutely kills that, but his cohesion is going to be all broken up, so all it's going to take is one or two shots to really do it. He gets caught at fire at a will and goes in for the charge, but thankfully the Jacksons, uh, or the Stonewalls, I mean, they hold in their own.
He's very low on health. I think he might actually die before... Alright, so... Yeah, I believe if we just shoot and essentially charge in, we have the game. Although, we'll try to make it as certain as possible. Okay. I personally like this build quite a lot due to how, like, flexible you are. As you saw, I managed to get to the hill and I had the superior ranged firepower, so after I won that position, I was able to really just pour it onto him. And I think that's one of the bigger strengths. Righty, and that is the win. But overall, I do like this build quite a lot. I think it's pretty good overall. Uh, although there definitely are some things where you, you are dancing maybe a bit on a tightrope. But anyway, uh, I'll see you all in the next game. Alrighty, so another match with the CSA uh, build that I've been trying out. Stonewall Brigade. We're on La Munchel. I'm not sure how to pronounce it exactly, but a lot of open terrain and then a couple strong defenses on one side, and I have a hill on mine. Stonewall Brigade. But. I don't want to sit back, especially against the Austrians, because if they get into melee, that's not a good thing. Rugged is nice for the deployment here, but they won't have much use. Stonewall Brigade. Louisiana Tiger. Whitworth Sharpshooters. Stonewall Brigade. Louisiana Tiger. Guys, all ready. Texas Brigade. I think we're actually just going to play him on the road and he can march over here if he needs to. Whitworth Sharpshooters. Riding out. So, he's got the double. Hawk, and then Kaiser Jaegers, so... Does have a cavalry, and a pretty standard roster, so... Start by... Essentially just horses out. But I'm actually gonna get these guys into line right away. I wanna have a strong start... And I want to make sure he kind of... I want to make sure he essentially um, has a hard time getting into the middle of the map. If Stonewall is able to blast them for several points of damage if he marches up. But one of these will take a little bit of damage, hopefully. So, blasted each other, but didn't do any damage, so... Texas Brigade. You expect. Now. Hmm. It's a small map. We're, we're already right on top of each other, so. Stonewall I gotta be Brigade. careful of the Hawk and Duschmeisters. If they get into melee range, they are quite the terrifying. But there's fire and will here to scare Stonewall them off. Brigade. Louisiana Tigers. Louisiana Tigers. Louisiana Tigers. Stonewall Brigade. Louisiana Tigers. Um, I think we're just gonna shoot at these guys. So if they try to get aggressive, they take some damage. Texas Brigade. Texas Brigade. I think probably should go into line. Bushwhackers. Bushwhackers I'm going to have up here, and I'm going to probably have them try to block this off, so if they try to move forward, they might get impeded. Stonewall Brigade, Louisiana Tigers. I'm going to try to set up a flank Stonewall here Brigade. where we watch over, and, and we'll move the sharpshooters over to hopefully maybe better Texas protect. Yes, 
Alright, so we're immediately shooting those. So now if those guys move at all, then they're going to take some damage. Cavalry doesn't move. I blocked his cavalry from moving. That's good. Also dealt some good damage to his Hawk and Duschmeister, so that's nice. Whitworth Shops, Stonewall Brigade, Louisiana Tigers. Let's see. One, two, okay. So we're relatively safe from his Louisiana melee attacks Tigers. right now. Whitworth Shops, I gotta be careful of moving these guys in. So. Hmm. Texas Stonewall Brigade, Louisiana Tigers. Actually, first thing I'm gonna do, I'm gonna try to be a little greedy, and I'm gonna assume, I'm gonna try to do this, blast these, and then immediately charge them. That could be very powerful. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna have the Texas Brigade move in and take over kind of the front line duty since they're essentially regular infantry. And then I could have these guys move in, but I don't think it's a good idea. I'm instead going to get the Louisiana Tigers, I think, back into column or into attack column so they're able to maybe chase down an aggressive hawk if that is a thing that he decides to do. Nothing I want with sharpshooters right now. Ooh, he just front charged my own units. My goodness. That is very aggressive. Whitworth shop shooters. Ooh, though. This is a golden opportunity to deal a ton of damage to his units. Stonewall Brigade. Louisiana Tigers. I wish I could get another unit into the melee, but I don't think I'll be able to. So instead, I'm going to try to set it so Fire at Will catches him if he pulls out of it, because he's not doing very well in it right now. I'll try to pin him down so he really has to pull out of there. And we'll shift these guys over, and they are already got Fire at Will, so I'll leave him on that. Stonewall, Louisiana Tigers. Stonewall Brigade, Louisiana hmm. Tigers. I kind of want to move the Stonewall Brigade. Stonewall Brigade. I think maybe I'll do open order and then pull them back a little bit. So they're going to shoot and then near the end of the turn Louisiana they'll do that. Tigers. Although that does leave the tigers a bit open, but there's nothing to charge it down, so I think if we just put them both in open order, that'll be fine. It's a bit expensive to get them back into line right now, but I think it'll be worth it because they're going to take a ton of damage from all of my stuff. Ah, is he going in for a charge? He is. Alright. Very aggressive charge. Dealing good damage, but Stonewall got protected, which is good. His cavalry is in a rough position right now. Cohesion is broken on that unit. So they're taking damage. I think first thing we want to shoot that because that will kill off his, his Hungarian infantry, I believe those are. Texas Brigade, Louisiana Tigers. Texas Brigade. Whitworth, mm. Louisiana Stonewall Brigade. I think I actually want to pull out of this combat. Hmm. Louisiana Tigers. Do I? No, I actually think Stonewall I'm fine with this right now. Uh, that Hawk and Duschmeisters will die in two turns. So he should be relatively fine to just kind of sit there and die. I'm gonna keep yeah I'm pretty happy with how most of the things are I think we'll do open order for these two in order to protect them from fire but otherwise I'll just I guess move the sharpshooters over because that seems to be where the momentum shifting on his end 
Yeah, his cavalry should be dying soon. It has... This Asars can't pull out of combat. Those die, that's good. Open order to protect them from too much damage, although that does mean the Texas Brigade is actually a bit vulnerable. He's going in for a melee. Ooh, that is not good on my end. Louise Stonewall Brigade. Louisiana Tigers Stonewall Brigade. Stonewall Brigade. Louisiana Tigers. Whitworth Sharpshooters. He's actually, you know what, he's probably gonna try to charge my Sharpshooters first thing. So I'll pull these back to prevent Louisiana that from happening. Tigers. Stonewall Brigade. And we'll get these Stonewall guys. Brigade. Louisiana Tigers. Stonewall Brigade. But I actually need to pull these out of combat. Out of orders. So I think the Tigers probably should move then. I need orders to like pull back and I'm gonna try to kill off this cavalry unit to regain cohesion on these two so they can come help the center because right now I'm kind of stuck in a melee that I don't really want to be in. I'm gonna just try to pull out of melees and pull back and hopefully he'll try to keep committing. Yeah, he's definitely, he definitely wanted that charge bad. Or at least wanted to shoot me. But I'm trying to prevent that from happening. Pull back. Oof. Fire at will catches his infantry, so these guys get their cohesion back, which is a good thing. Fire at will is unleashing hell. So I'm gonna try to shoot and kill this unit and then immediately pull these guys back. Louisiana Stonewall Brigade. Louisiana Tigers. Louisiana Tigers. And then I want uh, these Tigers to essentially absorb the hits. Stonewall Brigade. Louisiana Tigers. Stonewall Bushwhackers. Oh, I think leave those there. I guess we'll just set up more defenses there. Alright, so they die immediately. And yeah, we're gonna try to pull the sharpshooters back. Because I really don't want the sharpshooters to get charged by his by the elite infantry. Which he really wants to do, or he at least wants to shoot them. I'm gonna have to- I'm falling- I'm running out of room, so, like, I'm gonna need to get a flank or pin it down in a melee on its own. In order to not, like, lose anything. He is very low on units. I think we've pretty much got him. I think he's in a pretty rough position. So, he's got... A Louisiana big thing going on here. Oh, he concedes. Yeah, I'd probably concede there too. I don't see how you'd come back out of that. But, as you saw, a pretty convincing win for the Confederates. Alrighty, and we have one more game for you. And today, or for this match, we're going to essentially play a different nation and face off against a Confederate user. So we can kind of get more examples of how the confederates play uh, and we can see it from a different perspective so we're playing on river path for this one 
Uh, so we do have a bit of an issue where we're going to have probably a pretty rough time fighting for this hill, especially since we're playing Russians. So I'm thinking that we're probably going to maybe rely a bit more on weight of numbers and kind of overwhelm him because we have... That's one of the biggest strengths of the uh, of the Russians is that they get a ton of elite infantry for no downside. So I guess we will try this out. We'll try this, but okay, he's got a Stonewall, Louisiana Tiger, and also a uh, Hamptons Brigade alongside another Stonewall, Louisiana Tigers, and then a Militia and a Regular. So I think my main thrust is going to be overall uh, trying to force my way across the river and flank him. I think that's probably going to be the most effective thing. So, with that in mind, I'm probably going to try to play defensive on this right flank. So, we'll go full bore over here and try to get over there. Get a fire order on them. We'll call it a day. But... I'm going to force the river crossing because he has almost no forces here. He can't probably stop me. Uh, and then we'll try to flank him and force him to kind of get off this. Because River Path really is kind of all built around can you force the... Who can get better control of this area? And he definitely is going to win it due to efficiency. So we need to play in a way that kind of forces him to do something else. So now, I'm probably just going to go open order to minimize any damage I take. Meanwhile, we will sl maybe. Try to force this quite, quite aggressively. It's a bit risky, but I think it's overall worthwhile. Because it will allow me to better pressure him. And I want my cavalry probably right around here. So he can either attack the Hamptons if it goes over here. Or kind of move over to the hill if need be. But yeah, the main thing, I think we just need to go open order and uh, try to keep pressure on while we try to force that river crossing. Personally, I think Confederates still are pretty powerful. They just need to be, like, they definitely have to put some more work in there. Alright, so he's definitely gathering up around the hill. I think we'll just change formation and get ready for it. So he gave me the bridge, which is actually quite nice. Uh, this gives me some, some nice flexibility. We're going to shift into attack column in order to set that up. And then I'm probably going to just bring the Cossacks over here, or Cossacks, my bad. Like, he definitely can't charge into my forces at all. There's just no way he's able to, like, attack. Like, one of the nice things is that all these Grenadiers have melee drills, so any charge he does is going to do nothing to me. Alright, he's trying to use the breach loaders to soften me up. And he's moving in over here also. So now we're going to immediately lay into him. And try to set up a strong field of fire. We'll break them up. I don't think they need to be together anymore. 
And then we probably need to move them, uh, those out of there. Probably need to shift into open order for these also. And then we'll just keep giving Firewatch. So, if we can deal good damage to the Hamptons Brigade, or potentially even kill it, that's going to be a massive hit to him, because he's not going to be able to, uh... Like, there's not much he'll be able to do to stop that. And, like, he'll lose, he'll lose control of the match, because he'll have nothing to counter my Cossacks, so they can hit at a perfect moment. But otherwise... Uh, we're gonna keep trying to maybe play a bit cautious. He's about to go up on the hill, definitely. Yeah, he gets him out of there. That's to be expected. Probably gonna move in and blast... But thankfully, these guys will regain their cohesion. Ooh, they take a nasty hit. That's actually really good for me. Ooh, they got hit a second time. They got shot at by that stone wall. That's not the greatest thing. So, something we need to do actually right away is pull back my, uh... I need to pull back my... Uh, Grenadiers, because they're gonna get charged, like, first thing. Uh, that absolutely is going to happen. We're going to do some fancy footwork over here and try to uh, kill off this unit or force him off the hill. The biggest thing is always remaining two spaces away from his Louisiana Tigers. If we can manage that, then we'll be in a good position. But I think the biggest thing is probably to keep these Cossacks moving, threaten this, because if we can isolate these two guys, we could probably kill them off. We just gotta make sure to keep pinning down his forces and make sure he doesn't, like, break our cohesion too harshly. I think we're doing relatively okay here. Good, so we're gonna keep his cohesion broken. He's moved that to try to do various things. But that's good. So this fire at will, I believe, should shoot right away. Yeah, he tried to... Alright, so he's going in for the melee. Ooh, that's a back charge? Uh, that's... I don't think that should happen. Hmm. Yeah, melee's still a little buggy, so... That's not going well for me all of a sudden. Oof. Wipes out my Cossacks. And that was in soft cover? Huh? There's some weird things going on. I'm definitely losing those Cossacks. There's nothing I can really do about that. Which sucks. Because I would love to, like, pressure him in other ways, but I guess we're going to try to focus on dealing with those. And, uh, pressuring back. We'll leave them there. I don't really want them on the hill in case they might get countercharged. Oh, 
Those Cossacks getting killed to that and that being a back charge has actually really hurt me. Uh, I was pretty confident one turn ago, but now we're kind of seemingly in trouble. I'm getting, I'm losing all of my cohesion from somewhere. I'm not exactly sure why. I think this might be a loss here. I'm not sure how my line formation unit is only dealing two to the side of this unit, but that's not good. Not in a good position. I definitely need to try to pull these guys out and try to have them soften up and dance around a little bit. Гренадёрский лейб гвардии полк. Гренадёры. 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 Линейная пехота. Линейная пехота. Гренадеры. Конечно. I think he def I think he might have gotten me here. I guess we'll have to see. Hopefully Hamptons can get pinned down. We keep his cohesion broken. Гренадёрский лейб гвардии полк. Гренадёры, линейная пехота. Линейная пехота. Гренадерский лейб гв... Гренадеры. I think we actually do win out against Hampton's Brigade in this, and Grenadier. because it's on its own, this Grenadier is actually going to do well there. This Grenadier is going to die. Hopefully we can kill off this stone wall. If we can kill off this stone wall, we might be able to kind of stabilize this. Hmm. I see chances. I'm just not the most confident that I'm going to be able to carry them out. But melee drills, I think, going to be a big thing here because it's going to limit the impact he can do. Apparently, fire at will killed off his Hamptons. That's actually massive. I believe that is a bug. I believe fire at will should not shoot at units that pull out of melee. So, like, that that definitely should not have happened. But I, I think we're actually getting close to maybe coming back now. We just need to try to... I think try to charge our basic unit right into his uh, Stonewall Brigade. Because 
his uh, Tigers are losing against this Grenadier and this unit. Now, he is going to get his Louisiana Tigers here back, so we'll have to be wary of that. But I think if we can keep the pressure up here and, like, potentially just keep pressuring him and kill off his Stonewall, that'll be a big thing. We are in a very serious slugging match. They're going to be trading shots. Ouch. I think this is going to come down to just a few things. Grenadiere! Mm. I don't want to do this. I think the biggest thing is I want these guys to stay alive, so I think I'm going to put them in line immediately to help protect. I think they're going to get charged, like, almost first thing, so I'm going to try to get them to shoot immediately, and then I'll just have these guys shoot also. And then we're going to try to break that cohesion and go in for a melee there. And then these guys, I'll have them try to open order and then blast, and hopefully we'll see. But I have, I don't have, a, I have a feeling they're going to die. Um, yeah, definitely a couple bugs that happened that I noticed, especially with both of our cavalrys dying, which has evened this out on both sides. All right, so good. We broke the cavalry. Or broke the militia, I should say. Yeah, he's charging in on both sides. This is going to be extremely close. Charge goes in and connects. Yeah, see, there's definitely some, like, weird bugs going on. But, I think, like, unfortunately for him, I think this is going to be the thing that overwhelms him. I think he's going to drop too much in order to win here. But I think that, overall, he might have won if Hampton's Brigade was still alive, so... I think it was kind of due to bugs that this all happened, but... You know, that's just early access game and all that. I've definitely dealt with a lot of those myself. Losing that Cossacks just before it did anything was kind of annoying, but... Like, you can definitely see there is still some power. I thought I honestly was kind of out of this until a couple things bugged out and I managed to make the comeback. So, like, I, I definitely think the Confederates are still pretty powerful. Although they're just not, like, dominating like they kind of were when they had the stronger breech loaders. Alright, there's that. And a victory. And with that, that is the end of the games for this video. Just a couple showing off some builds that me and my friend were trying out, as we both really do enjoy playing the Confederates. Uh, as you saw, the Confederates, for the most part, were able to put up a good fight. Efficiency on all of their units is just a really strong trait, and like... Almost no matter what, that's going to be a big appealing aspect of them. Not a lot of other factions get access to a solid infantry roster that is all efficiency units. I think Prussia is the only one, but they only have breech loaders. They don't have longer range rifles. So, a bit of a difference there, but I really do like the Confederates. Uh, their playstyle is quite unique, and you really got to plan out your turns because you cannot use efficiency on all of your units every single turn because you only get, in, at least in quick play, you only get eight orders. So you really got to plan out uh, what you're doing each turn to make sure you don't leave a unit to die.
I think that's a fun thing. Uh, but this build, I think, is honestly quite a potent one. Uh, as I talked about in the start of the video, double stone wall and Whitworth gives you a lot of ranged firepower. You have two tigers that can back up your stone walls. As you saw, I paired them up, usually one stone wall, one tiger. And that way, if the enemy gets close to the stone wall, the tigers can, from the reserve, charge in and deal a ton of damage to hopefully a softened up enemy unit. The Texan Brigade acts as like a light in a regular infantry that also just gets to ignore terrain penalties. Uh, didn't see it a whole lot in these matches because we were playing on mostly open areas, but I've definitely had it to where some instant some maps like these guys are the MVPs. And then we also had a single cavalry who's just there to kind of help us to keep enemy cavalry in check or harass enemy artillery and all that. If you like this video, make sure to like and subscribe to not miss out on any future content. Uh, it really helps me when you guys uh, show your love for the content I do, and I really do appreciate it. Make sure, comment down below, would you be interested in me doing more videos like this where we simply experiment with builds? Do you want to see potentially more serious builds like this one where we're trying to make the best possible build? Or would you like to see maybe some funny meme builds? Like, for example, all militia builds with the Ottomans or something wacky like that. Let me know down in the comments below. Otherwise, that is all I have for you today. Again, thank you all so much for watching, and I have you ha hope you have a good day.